The main thing you'll need, okay? So you'd want, we'll do it together, so I'll give you a tray as well. Thanks, Ben. Okay, it can be any tray, it can be a yoga tub, it could be literally anything that can hold the medium. And it is not, it's not filtrating, the water is not going it through. Doesn't, it doesn't have to be, but you can. Uh, the second thing you'll need is obviously a good medium or substrate. So here we've got our coconuts, but like I said, you can find anything. Uh, yeah. As long as you don't grab it from outside. Uh, you're, gonna no. have, you're gonna have some issues. You're gonna wanna spread that out on, the t on your thing. You don't wanna pat it down, but not too hard. So uh, the seeds, you can probably buy any nursery, try find uh, organic, um, untreated seeds. Okay. Uh, reason for that is because you're gonna be eating it within a week or two. So yeah. you don't want anything that's been treated with chemicals because then it's gonna end up in your system. So even here, even uh, on a bigger scale, we don't use anything that's treated uh, and uh, mm. m most of it's non-GMO. So what you're gonna wanna do then after that, once you're happy with how your medium's read, take your seeds, I'll pass it over to you. Okay. And you just wanna sprinkle it, not too much. You don't wanna put, put them too close together. So as you can see, I'm trying to get like a consistent spacing in between the seeds, like that. And I can mix the seeds, I can have different... You can, you can same. mix with they, they might grow at different lengths, but at home that shouldn't be an issue. And the last thing is just any water, uh, tap water, preferably not um, chlorine, uh, but uh, it should be good from the tap. Um, and then you just want to give it a spritz. Just wet the surface of the seeds. Yeah. Try to cover it as much as you can. So now it's wet now, and when, when you put this on top, Kind of push it down, push the seeds into the, the medium itself. Okay. And this will lock in the moisture. That's one thing. And it'll also be, uh, create like a um, like a germination chamber type of thing. That's pretty much it. So now you'll put this, you can put it in a dark place for two, three days. Oh, dark uh, place. It doesn't need sun right away. Uh, oh. It's actually preferably a dark place might be a bit better. Okay. Because uh, it, it won't dry out as quickly. Well, I could, it's not clear now, don't you? Yeah. 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 So a uh, dark place, it doesn't have to be dark. It could be anywhere as long as it's, it's not getting too hot. Okay. And then after two, three days, I mean, you can check it. If it's dried out, you can always just give it another spritz. Um, and then as you now look, then you can just look at it. How do you look? Do you look if you break it or do you look and look if you have worms made? They'll actually open up, it will crack, uh, so like you said. That's what it's seen. Yeah, and you'll see a tail that actually shoots out and starts digging into the okay. into the, the medium. Every every day or so, just check, uh, maybe pour some water, apply water to the side instead of applying on top. Um, after about 10 to 14 days, you just take your scissors, you cut it and throw it on your salad or your wrap or whatever you're planning to do. With exactly. It.